While many of us have been wondering since we found out Crisis on Infinite Earths was going to feature Batman Beyond, who was going to voice the character? And now that has been confirmed. Let's break down the voice cast, who's returning to play a classic version of Batman, and why I think this will make most fans pretty satisfied. Now before we do that though, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and ring that bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos, and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently so you are in the know. Well, a few days ago, we got our first major trailer for Crisis on Infinite Earth Part 2. And since then, there have been a ton of questions. The new film will be directed by Jeff Wamster with a script by Jim Craig. And we found out it will indeed drop on April the 9th. And since then, we've had a lot of questions raised. One of the most prominent being, who will voice Batman Beyond? And will this actually drop on Blu-ray? And we have answers to both questions. First, the easy question. Yes, the film will indeed drop on Blu-ray on April the 23rd, two weeks after the digital release. So for all you physical media collectors, there is nothing to worry about. Now, as for who's voicing Batman Beyond, well, they've revealed the cast for the whole film. And not only does it reveal who will be voicing Batman Beyond, but there are a couple of other rather interesting names. Now, the main question has been from day one is whether or not Will Freddle will return as Terry McGinnis. Many people feel like this is absolutely critical. And now we do have confirmation that he will indeed voice the classic Batman character. Since the character was previewed in that very first teaser trailer, this has been the question sticking with everybody. And now we do indeed have a firm answer. Now, what is interesting though is Will is voicing another character in the same film. And that would be Commandi the Last Boy. Now, if you remember correctly, we actually got a DC short of Commandi the Last Boy back in 2021. And if you haven't seen it, well, it is absolute beloved Jack Kirby goodness. The character is from a post-apocalyptic Earth, which is ruled by talking animals. It is pure Kirby magic, and something if you've never checked out, I have to recommend. Now what's interesting is Cameron Moynihan voiced the character in that film, but he won't be doing it here. It is pretty cool that Will got more than one part, and he's joining one heck of an ensemble cast. As many of you know, Jensen Ackles has been voicing Batman, with Darren Criss as Superman, Meg Donnelly as Supergirl, and Stan Akkadic as Wonder Woman. We also, in the upcoming film, has Matt Ryan once again returning to voice Constantine, which is an absolute must, with Aldous Hodge as Jon Stewart and the classic 1980 star Lou Diamond Phillips as the Spectre. Good voice talent has never been something DC has been short of, and it's really great to see them bring back some classic names. I don't think we could have done Batman Beyond without Will. He is truly the voice of the character, playing him for three seasons, as well as showing up in Justice League Unlimited, and of course, one of my favorite animated movies ever, Return of the Joker. Now, I know all you guys are huge Crisis fans. We're going to cover it really closely on this channel, but I am curious on how you feel about Will returning to play the character, and what do you think of him picking up a side role as Commandi? Tell me what you think in the comments below.